hello everyone so welcome back to this channel once again and in today's video session i'll discuss dynamic sql support of values into clause or you can say using values into clause instead of sql cursor in dynamic sql queries in sql rpg so basically uh, earlier we were not able to use the sql select into clause in the SQL RPG uh, dynamic queries so that was a drawback so I would thanks uh, this values into clause uh, which is which can be used with the dynamic SQL queries and we can now use the into clause into the dynamic queries using the values into clause instead of set select into so uh, let's say uh, even for a dynamic query to be built and I want to select a single row from a table so what I need to do earlier is oh, I need to have uh, to prepare a statement or then uh, we need to declare the cursor the op then open fetch and close the cursor so so basically we need to implement the cursor a dynamic cursor to fetch that data from or that row from the dynamic SQL query but now we can use values into clause which will require less coding than the SQL cursor approach and and um, even here we can uh, use the into clause that, that is SQL into clause within the dynamic SQL query so that implementing the sql cursor is an overhead so that we can prevent so that's so for understanding how we can use this let's uh, move to the example which i have created so let's see this case so here you can see I, I just want to select the employee name from table p of 1 so let's say p of 1 has these two records uh, having row 1 as employee id 1 and then 2 name 1 name 2 so that's the values in the columns now I want to select the name from P of 1 where employee ID is L underscore ENT ID that is 1 for now so this can be a dynamic thing uh, that can be supplied through some parameters or from anywhere else now let's say I just provide 1 here so I, I, I'll be building a dynamic SQL query now I cannot use select into clause with this dynamic SQL query so that was uh, the drawback with the SQL into clause. Now what I need to do with this approach is to prepare the query that is prepare this statement. Okay, so I prepared select query from this statement and then I need to declare the cursor for this statement then I need to open the cursor then I need to fetch the cursor into and then close the cursor so these are all the steps which I had had to follow earlier when uh, I was using the select into clause so now I have a better approach than that which requires less coding and even requires uh, does not require to implement the cursor so that was an overhead let me show you this one so here you can see that's a less code than the earlier one let me open that as well so here you can see I just prepared the statement prepared the query statement and then just executed the query here I need to open the cursor declare the cursor declare open fetch and close all those operation steps to be followed 
but here I need to execute the query so now you can see this support uh, that came into the SQL that is values into clause so what I did is I use the same statement if you see so this was the statement If you look at this statement, it selects EMP name from PF1 where EMP ID equals to this and this. Now, both the queries are same. I have to select the same row from both the examples. The approach is different in both the cases. One is using the select clause where we have the cursors defined, but here we are using the uh, newer approach that is values into clause so i don't need to have a cursor defined with it now you can see what i did is i use values into clause so values then bracket start and within that the query that is the select query which will select that row that single row and then the values clause ends so basically i just need to get the value of this statement so I use the values clause this one and then I used into then parameter marker so this one is a parameter marker question mark now I will be pre preparing this statement prepare select query from SQL statement and then we'll execute this statement that is SQL query select query using L underscore EMP name. So here I'll be using the using clause with the execute query. That is, I'll be selecting or retrieving the data into this variable. Now let me debug both. So first I need to create them. Just set the commitment control as none and debug view as source so this one is compiled this one again then f10 and then source so this one is also compiled just debug the first one uh, let's wait for some time so that we should see the module source now set the breakpoint at line number one and then call phase two so currently if you look at this is blank this is blank and this is blank this is now set to one and Now the SQL statement is select EMP name from PF1 with employee ID equals to 1. Now it will prepare the statement and declare the cursor. Just check the SQL code. So that's 0 which means prepare and declare was successful and then open the cursor. Just check the cursor SQL code. That's again 0. Now it will fetch the cursor into the ln score emp name let's see this is name one so we are able to uh, select or retrieve the uh, the employee name from the table using this cursor approach and select query approach but the main drawback was that we won't be able to use the into clause here and we have to declare a cursor which is an overhead now let's come out of this just do end debug and then debug this case case 2a so let me set the breakpoint and then we call case 2a now this time if you see 
everything is blank for now so now employ id is one now we can see the same statement the skill statement is there and that select emp name from p upon where emp id equals to l underscore emp id so that is within the values clause and we are using the into so you can see now the select statement was like this values then bracket and within bracket we have that sql statement which we were earlier building uh, as it is and we are executing using the cursor so now we have uh, put that sql query sql select query within the values clause and we are just building this values this query and then into the parameter map so now just prepare the sql statement just check the sql code that zero which means the query has been prepared now we will execute the query using this emp name and this is the substitute to the parameter marker where we want we want the data to be retrieved so after executing this line we can see the value has been retrieved in the l underscore emp name variable that is a host variable so you can see the name one is there and that's the last record indicator set to one now you can see that this is a better approach and this requires less coding than the sql select approach which we were earlier taking and implementing the cursors so now what we have done just forget and try to uh, follow this uh, approach and